You totally want to get these amazing abilities before it's too late in Gotham Knights, including an amazing holographic raid from Robin that will scare enemies and the other characters have some awesome skills too. So I want to showcase all these high-end abilities in this video, why it's smart to unlock them as soon as possible and also how you can quickly get them on each character. A like of course would really help me out, subscribe for way more Gotham Knights content and let's go. You likely already noticed that unlocking some of the active abilities requires you to do challenges which appear over time in the challenge tab and can mostly be completed near the end of or after the main story. And while the challenges are the same, you will have to do them for each hero separately to get these abilities and it's really smart to do that before starting New Game Plus so that unlocks after finishing the main game. These challenges will namely not carry over when you start this mode, so you'll have to play through the whole story again before you can unlock the momentum abilities that you did not get during your first playthrough. And unless you like uploaded your save game to the cloud, there's no way to go back to that older save, so high chance that you're stuck in New Game Plus without those abilities. So go and prepare it and do the challenges like killing the specific enemies and completing the Owl's Nest activity. They're not that hard, make sure you look at the facts factions that are present in the different districts, this by the way varies per night, because the random encounter is from the faction that is active in that region. When I switched from my main Robin to Red Hood, I had some trouble getting premeditated crimes from the Court of Owls or the League of Shadows, so then looking for random encounters helped. Before looking at these cool abilities, one small pro tip is to lower your difficulty to very easy if you want to get these challenges out of the way as fast as possible, if you for example do them for a different character. And always keep an eye out for the Owl's Nest, which is the icon that you see right here on the map. Sometimes they appear as a question mark as well, so then do them immediately because otherwise they can disappear. With these tactics, you should get the four regular abilities that you have to unlock pretty fast. But for the final momentum ability, you have to complete the special side story for each hero. It's not that hard, you just have to watch the cutscenes that are indicated with the hero icon mostly in the Belfry. Although some heroes like Nightwing and Batgirl also have these cutscenes in the open world. So just play through the story, interact with these icons when they appear in your home base or in Gotham City. And then at one point you will see that the side story is completed. And then you can also view that final ability in your menu. Just like the challenge that is needed to unlock them. These are slightly different per character, so we will mention them when we go over each hero separately. Then as you've been playing Batgirl and Nightwing, they both have some very interesting unlockable momentum abilities. So let's first look at the momentum skills from Batgirl. Yes, for sure. I think Batgirl actually has some of my favorite skills in the game. But before we get to those, let's start with the Elemental Strike. Which lets you apply elemental damage by charging your tonfa with energy. Then you strike forward to deal massive elemental damage, the type of which is decided by your currently equipped melee weapon. So it's a really strong tool for bursting down foes who are weak to your currently equipped element like it often kills regular enemies outright regardless of their level. It also breaks through guards but this unfortunately does not apply an elemental debuff so I would just use a heavy attack for that and then follow up with the elemental strike. If you'd rather Rather improve the damage and elemental buildup of your regular attacks than you'll like Adrenaline Surge. This is basically just a 12 second buff to your crit chance, damage and defense as well as an even bigger buff to your elemental buildup. So while it might not be as flashy as some of the other abilities, it does certainly make you a lot stronger. But you can also dish out elemental damage at range thanks to the Marauder Rank skill. This one lets you throw out two battle ranks that kind of go out and go ham on their own, continuously attacking enemies to deal damage while also applying the element of your currently equipped ranged weapon. So easy to see why this is a really good ability. And the same can actually be said for the Tonfa Jackhammer, that's basically just a giant ground pound that strikes twice and deals damage in an area. It also breaks guards and the area it covers is pretty big, so it's great for dealing with groups of enemies. And finally, the Bat Swarm is definitely Batgirl's coolest looking skill, but to unlock this you have to get 20 kills with Batgirl's ultimate ability the drone. I turned the game's difficulty all the way down to very easy and then went to a crime with a lot of enemies and then I just started lowering their health and let the drone take the killing blows which made getting the required kills a breeze. And then you have this amazing ability that summons a swarm of bats to surround you dealing damage to enemies and protecting you from most attacks. 
So while Batgirl already was a great tank thanks to her skill tree, with this Bat Swarm ability you turn pretty much invincible while also dealing damage and also looking like a badass. What's not to love here? Yeah, I really dig it as well, although I love the look of Robin's final momentum ability too. But first, the ability you unlock after the early challenge is the Warp Hit Shot, which lets you teleport to an enemy with the elemental damage from your ranged weapon. Now you want to do this when the guard from bigger targets is already broken, otherwise you will only break the guard instead of deal a ton of damage. It's overall a really great ability to get to some ranged targets. Robin is already great in stealth thanks to some of the skills, but you can make it even easier with the cloak ability also becoming undetectable for security systems, which is nice in certain missions and during certain crimes. I'm not a big fan of the bow swing for two momentum, sure it does quite some damage to the enemies in the area but it can be hard to hit but for the same amount of momentum you can also do fireworks which is really one of the best abilities for Robin period. Especially if you have an element on your ranged weapon because then you will hit multiple enemies in a pretty large area and they build up the status effect as well which will then immediately have them take damage over time or freeze. And because the fireworks stay for quite some time, the enemies can be frozen, take damage, be frozen again, take damage. It's really, really insane. If you complete all Robin's cutscenes and then kill 10 enemies with his ultimate, I did it regularly by bringing enemies to low health and then activating the ability. Although again, you can also put the game on very easy because then they will die with full health. And then if you succeed, you can get the really cool raid ability, which turns you into this demon-like creature and immediately drops enemies on the ground around you as they are afraid. And now you can go crazy for 15 seconds with 15% extra crit chance and critical damage to have these yellow numbers appear way more often. It's pretty strong but I'm mostly doing it for the visual effect and this ability for every hero should also unlock the final training session which is needed for the trophy. So if you do all 16 of them you also get the pop. Another reason why unlocking these abilities before starting New Game Plus is great, otherwise you will have to play through the whole game again to get that training trophy. And actually joined your game, Dennis, for the final ability from Nightwing, as it has some co-op benefits, but more on that in a moment. Let's first go over the other unlockable abilities and what you need to do for that final one. So the first ability you unlock is actually not that exciting. It's called Shotgun Darts, and like the name suggests, it makes you shoot two rounds from Nightwing's dart launcher, but the closer you are to an enemy, the more damage you do. So it's definitely useful when you're up close and personal, but apart from that and the fact that it has guard break, it's not doing much. The speed boost you can get is already more exciting as it makes you attack and move faster for 15 seconds. You also gain more momentum the further you travel to hit an enemy, which is a bit situational, but the attack speed boost alone makes this ability worth using. But we save the best skills for last as both Whirlwind and Dart Storm are massive AoE attacks that also deal tons of elemental damage. Whirlwind is pretty much what the name suggests as it turns you into a destructive tornado of acrobatics. You're able to move around while performing this attack and it builds up elemental damage based on your melee weapons, so great for when you're surrounded by enemies and want to take them all out quickly. And like I said, Dart Storm also covers a large area firing a spray of darts in a 180 degree arc in front of you. Enemies hit will take elemental damage based on your ranged weapon, but you also weaken their resistance to any element which sets both you and your allies up for even more elemental damage. And like Jordan already mentioned, the final ability you unlock for Nightwing has some great co-op benefits too, but in order to unlock this Bright Knight skill, I see what you did there Warner, you'll have to get 5 kills with the damage over time effect from your ultimate ability Nest. So again, turn down the difficulty and lure enemies into the circle, lower their health but don't kill them and you'll get your 5 kills really quickly. Which then unlocks Bright Knight, an AoE stun, which effectively means you instantly trigger the concussion status on enemies, which is really powerful. But it also restores one momentum bar to any allies. It will fire in the direction you are facing, so it is possible to miss this attack, but if you hit, you can easily stun multiple enemies at once. Already great for co-op in Gotham City, but I reckon this ability will truly shine in the upcoming 4-player heroic assault mode. Yes, I can't wait. I'm still not sure if I will go with Robin or Red Hood for this mode, but we still got some time to figure that out. And speaking of Red Hood, 
he has some nice extra abilities you can unlock as well. The first one is pretty straightforward, enhancing your melee attacks with 25% more damage and three times the elemental buildup of the elements of your current melee weapon. So great if you are a melee red hood. A momentum ability that you can get later on is the portable turret for two momentum bars. This one will rapidly shoot at nearby targets for six seconds, making them also unable to move so you can help the turret to quickly take out some targets. But if you prefer to take care of the enemies yourself, they can also do this ability where you jump backwards, leave a big explosion in that area, dealing quite some damage, but you of course have to line up some enemies correctly and your ammo will also be reloaded after this, which of course is really nice. We also got Harness Rage, where you get this green glow around you and get health over time. And when you get hit, your next attack deals increased damage. So I just like to activate it, then hit nearby enemies, not really like get away from targets, so you deal more damage and you also more easily stay alive thanks to the health over time. Its final unlockable ability is a really nice crowd control, so you can go crazy with insane damage afterwards. For this you need 15 kills with the mystical bullet ultimate, which easy enough, you can again also put the game on very easy and then all the enemies die from one shot. So you will have this ability in no time. I wish it was one momentum bar, like it's fine, but a pretty high cost for the very short use compared to some of the other final abilities from the other heroes. Although I do get it, like it doesn't make it too overpowered and then you will still be like pushed to use the other momentum abilities as well. Of course, let me know your favorite abilities and hero in the comments down below. Subscribe for way more Gotham Knights content. A like on the video would really help me out. And check out our video on all the outfits in the game that you also want to get before starting New Game Plus. Otherwise, you will have to wait once again till the end of your second playthrough before you can get some of these suits. For now, I will speak to you soon. Goodbye.